Marianne Rodmacher said, At first glance, it may appear too hard. Look again. Always look again. My friend Dennis would walk across the dance floor when we were kids, freshmen, I believe it was, at the dances and ask girls to dance. Boys were on sort of one side talking, girls on the other side. He seemed to have no fear. He'd ask one girl right after another uh, until one said yes. Some nights he might get six or seven no's before a yes, and I could never figure out how he did that. But I was the guy who kind of waited till the last dance of the night. But the girl I liked would dance if I asked. I bet she would have danced earlier in the night if I had asked, but it took me all night to work up the nerve. What if she'd say no? That walk all the way back to the other side of the gym was ooh, rough. You can't imagine the level of rejection a 14-year-old boy might deal with during that walk, even though he's trying to be nonchalant, no big deal. But in her book, uh, Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway, Susan Jeffers uh, wonders how much time is wasted with unnecessary fear. Denny probably felt the fear, but he went ahead anyway. He was willing to do whatever it took to get the result he wanted. Uh, later on, by the way, he married one of those girls. His success ratio improved when he started asking her first about halfway through the year. So we, we had to study somebody else's technique after that. There was Mike who kind of moved towards the girl he liked, but not really too close, acting like he was talking to somebody else. Not good. The problem was the songs were only a couple minutes long, so if you waited until the song ran out, you ran out of time to truly have fun during the dance. Besides, you needed the full two minutes to think of something to say during the dance. So I wonder how much dancing I could have done if I had known there was nothing to fear. It turns out the girls wanted to be asked, right? Duh. I had no one to dance with before I would ask. And after a rejection, I still didn't have anyone to dance with. And I'm no worse off, right? Right back where I was. What's the big deal? But they almost always said yes. So here's something to think about. What are you imagining? What have you created in your mind that creates fear for you? And then ask yourself, What's the opposite? What's the positive opposite of that? I think that's something to think about. And I'll see you next time.